Good readers are able to ask questions about the book or article that they are reading. Asking good questions is just another way to become an active participant in the reading process. It makes you think about what you're reading and challenges you to use your brain, which is kind of a good thing. This is the seventh video in the series, Foundations of Reading Comprehension. The goal is to help you become an active participant in the reading process. I am going to teach you Costa's Levels of Questioning, which was created by R. Costa, the man, the myth, the legend. Not all heroes wear capes. There are three levels of questions, so let's start with level one. Level one questions are called right there questions. The answer to a level one question should be found right there in one spot in the book or article that you're reading. For example, what color is this car? Blue. The answer is found right there in one spot. The goal of a level one question is to help you understand basic information about the story or article. Let's look at some examples from our book. What color is Digger? Yellow. The answer is right there in one spot. What do Digger and his crew love to do? They love to work. The answer is right there in one spot. You can use any of these sentence starters to create your own level one questions. A level two question is called a think and search question. When you ask a level two question, you have to think and then search for the answer in the book or article. The answer is not found just in one spot. You have to read and then connect little bits of information to come up with your answer. These questions are just a bit tougher to answer because they really make you think and then search for the answer. For example, a level one question just asked us to say the color of the car, but a level two question would sound something like this. How are these two cars similar and different. How do cars make life easier? Here are some more examples from our book. Describe Digger's relationship with the duckling. The answer is not just in one spot. We would have to read several pages to find the answer. How are these two trucks similar and different? Again, the answer is not just in one spot. You have to really think and search for the answer. I hope you can see that if you come up with questions as you read, it really helps you become an active participant in the reading process. Here are some great sentence starters you can use to create your own level two questions. These are a great way to make you and others think about what you're reading. Real quick, before we move on, if you found any value so far in the video, smash the like button so this video can spread and help more people. I'm gonna teach you level three questions and then give you a challenge to practice this skill on your own. We call a level three question a you and the author question. It is important to know that just because it's a level three question does not make it the toughest question to answer. The answer to a level three question is not, I repeat, is not found in the book or article that you're reading. It comes from your experience or life. The goal of a level three question is to take some information from the book and apply it to your life. Let's think about our car example. Which car would you buy and why? How would your life be different if there were no cars? Now, here are some more examples from our book. What would you do if you found a lost duckling? I took the idea of a lost duckling, but then put you in Digger's shoes and asked you, what would you do in that situation? You have to think about how you would respond if you were in the story. What would you say to the angry trucks? Notice the answer is not from the book, but I'm taking information from the book and asking how you would respond. Here are some great sentence starters to create your own level three questions. At the end of the day, you wanna create all types of questions when you're reading a book or article. Questions like these challenge your thinking, but they also make sure you understand what you're reading. Now here's what I want you to do. Find some books or articles that you enjoy and read them with a partner. As you read, take turns coming up with your own questions. If you come up with a question, your partner has to answer it. Try creating level one, two, and three questions. This is a great way to practice a skill and become an active participant in the reading process. I have a complete workbook in the video description to help you with the process. You can either print out the PDF or make a copy of the Google Slides and type on it. Make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.